Now he gets back to America. And of course, there's a big bunch of reporters waiting for him. And they kind of know, they kind of know he's got a, a mouth, right? So they're, they're fired up to talk to him. And he starts talking to the reporters and here we go. What the American people want to do is fight a war without getting hurt. You can't do any, you can't do that any more than you can go into a barroom brawl without getting hurt. Unless the American people are willing to send their sons out to fight an aggressor, there's just not going to be any United States. A bunch of foreign soldiers will take over. Air power can't live up to its billing out here. Somebody, not so much the aviators as the aircraft manufacturers, has sold the American people a bill of goods as to what air power can do. From what I've seen, one bomb will hit a section of railroad track and 100 bombs will miss, some of them by miles. The enemy puts coolies on the track with picks and shovels, and in 24 hours, they're rolling again. The answer is infantry. Our officer corps has, has had far too much schooling and far too little combat experience. They can't warn, w- learn war like that. Push-button war is as far off as in the days of Julius Caesar. The rifle hand grenade and bayonet are still the most important weapons we are going to lose the next war if we don't get back to them why half our infantry out there is still armed with carbines against the enemy with their fine russian rifles he then turned on the training of marines which could be which he would soon be conducting at camp pendleton we've got to get them tougher to survive throw all these girls out of camp get rid of the ice cream and candy Get some pride in them. That's what we need most of all, pride. A reporter piped up. What do you think of the protest of the Women's Christian Temperance Union over sending free beer to the troops? It's news to me, Puller said, but if a few cans of beer or a snort of whiskey will make the men fight better, it might not be a bad idea. At least it's better than ice cream and all this soft training. There's too much damn recreation in military training. We should have only one purpose, to fight and win. They're not being taught that now. So, he's an outspoken guy. He was astonished the next day to see the following headlines. Major General wants beer and whiskey for the troops. Ice cream GIs lambasted by Puller. Marine General blasts the Air Force. The Fuhrer reached across the nation. <laughs> there was actually protests against General Puller. Uh, here's, here's, they actually put one of these letters in the book. We hereby petition, this is sent to the, to the government or to the Pentagon. We hereby petition to you to use every ounce of influence that you possess to keep Brigadier General Puller from inaugurating his beer and whiskey campaign in U.S. military training camps. <laughs> <laughs> but the uh, the panic did die down, and he got to the business of training Marines, 